Okay. Hi everyone, Dave here at East Rose Blood Fly and Tackle. Good morning and welcome. Today I'm going to show you a couple of new ant patterns that I've developed for the shop and have been selling very well. They're actually made from beads. These are the glass beads. I have two versions. I have one that's a root beer or a carpenter ant using just these beads. I have another version that's going to be using a black and a silver lined red glass beads. These are all three in a medium size. They're going on a fire hole 419, which is their dry fly hook size 14. It's the beads or the body. Also, hackle is just soft hackle. This happens to be a minor cape. I like cape feathers because I can get several flies from one feather. And as a commercial tire, that's always important. And then for the wings, some pearl crystal flash. The thread's going to be 70 denier UTC. I'm going to be using for this red and black version, both red and black thread. And I'll show you how to incorporate those two. It's a simple pattern. It's a very effective pattern. Trout love ants. It's a good fly to fish alone. Excellent on a hopper dropper type of a situation. So let's get into like I said, this is a fire hole model 419, their dry fly hook, extra wide gap, size 14. This is a medium size opaque black bead and a medium size silver lined red bead. Of course you can switch which order you put them on the hook, if that's what you like. I'm going to start off with Vivas, 70 denier black thread. Start right over the, the hook point itself and get it started. To emulate the um, shape of the ant, I like to have the black bead just slightly around the bend. Like that, simply capture a loop of thread behind the bead. I know many people think that's a no-no, but we're going to secure those thread wraps on the bottom of the bead so there won't be any breakage. So just a couple of X wraps back and forth to make sure that's secure. Now at this point you can whip finish the black thread off and start the red or you can just do this and simply start one over the top of the other. And then we'll come forward and secure the red bead. Same thing, come forward a couple of wraps here to make sure we don't obscure the eye and then a couple of X wraps. So the actual thread wraps are on the bottom of the bead. Hopefully you can see those there. And with a little bit of zappa gap, we can make sure that they stay there if that thread breaks. Like I said in the intro, it's a very easy pattern. All right, some soft tackle. I'm using a rooster, or excuse me, a hen cape. This happens to be a dark gray dun. A black would work, a brown would work. So to prep this feather, we take off marabou at the end. You can strip off the fibers, but it's hard to get the hook or the thread started on a bare uh, stem like that. So I rather clip them off like that and it gives me a little more purchase with the thread. So I'm going to slide this here and you can actually tuck it into the black bead to hold it. And then kind of pinch wrap that on there. I'd like to keep it at the back half or even the back one third of the hook. You only need a couple of wraps. Remember, we're trying to imitate six legs, that's all. Go ahead and secure that. Okay, then I just like to crease the quill here just a little bit so that I make sure it wraps correctly. And just a couple of wraps. I like to have the soft hackle about hook gap 
width or even a little bit longer that's plenty right there again that's why I like to use the cape feather I can get several flies out of that bring your thread forward back and forth so you don't trap the hackle and this will secure this hackle anytime you wrap hackle you make sure you secure it with something thread wire something so now I'm at the beginning of the body okay for wings I'm going to use a single strand of pearl crystal flash you can use two strands and use them at the same time but the tag ends are long and tend to get in the way quite a bit so I just use one piece cut it in half and I can still get three flies doing that okay my granddaughter calls these fairy wings I think it's a pretty good explanation just even up the ends we're going to use a soft wrap Keep these on top, try to keep them parallel to the back of the red bead. Bring these over, again try to keep them parallel, pinch it, a couple of soft wraps just to temporarily secure it. I like these wings to be about the same length as the hackle, although that's totally up to you and if you pull them a little bit like that, the crystal flash twists and then you get that nice shape. Thread wrap forward. Thread wrap back. Because this material is slick, I like to fold it over and secure it again. I hate a fly that just catches one fish and then falls apart. So I'm just coming back over the doubled ends. Make sure when you cut this, you don't cut your newly formed wings. and then whip finish. And then as a last security measure, a little bit of Zappagat there on those thread wraps. And then I like to just set that on the table for a couple of minutes, let it dry while I'm preparing for the next fly. And as I said in the introduction, I also make this, I always wanted to tie a root beer colored ant because of carpenter ants. If you have wood, you have carpenter ants and most of our streams have trees and bushes by them. So by using a medium root beer size bead, both front and back, everything else is the same. I just use uni thread, a dark brown thread little easier to tie but we tie both or I tie both and they're both available in the shop so it is definitely ant season give them a try tell us what you think thanks for joining in we'll see you next time